Hello and welcome to my channel, Since360 Investor. Um, it's been a while since I posted um, for family matters and that to be taken care of. Anyway, I wanted to could do a quick update on the market uh, because we have this interesting action between what the, the Fed is trying to do and the old adage of uh, don't fight the Fed. But then we also have take action, which has been counter to that of late, and don't fight the tape. So the battle of the don't fight is, is kind of interesting. So let's like take a look at the technical technical uh, don't fight the tape action first. So market bottom, this is the S&P 500, the market bottoms in October of last year. And then from there, we can see a massive reversal day here as the market kind of um, moves up from very oversold positions. So we make a our first little high here, pull back, and then we make this low, up here, which is higher than the October low. And then from here, we go on to make the next high, which is higher than this high. And then the pull back from there, make, we make a low down here, which is higher than the low here. And then from here, we make a move all the way to this guy here. And that's a slightly higher high than this one. And now we're in the process of making a pullback. So this pullback is, Kind of uh, interesting because one, we can see it's at the uh, 200 day support. But the other thing we did here is we have the golden crossover, which is when the 50 day moving average crosses over the, uh, the 200 day, which is a bullish, very strong bullish signal, which the uh, tech, technical um, traders look for. And in the past, it's been used to kind of say, you know, that's the end of the, the, uh, the bear market and the beginning of the bull market. So they're looking at this and they're looking at these higher highs and higher lows forming. So now with the pullback that we've gotten recently and the week finished at support zones, so we'll see how this week transpires and does does this hold here and uh, we start to move up or this little bounce here and we continue to move down. Remains to be seen just like we got here. So we may zigzag to the the downside or maybe that was it and we're going to move up so that's the argument from the uh, the tape and the technical traders where there are the bullish argument is that the bear market's over and the bull market is in versus the bearish argument which is that the the fed is still very active um they're not anywhere close to being done um higher and for and you know longer uh, the rates will stay up and they will con continue until they they defeat uh, inflation, which means that, you know, the big question of are we going to have a recession or not comes into view. And, and certainly the Fed-based argument is that there needs to be some kind of recession. It's obviously they're uh, placating by calling it a soft landing. Other people think it's going to be a hard landing. There's now a third camp which says there will be no landing. <laughs> so nobody knows on that side. It's a lot of conjecture. What we do know is that the Fed isn't done. And usually uh, the, the Fed is king uh, because markets can be irrational. And so the question here is, is this market, has this market been irrational through this period? Or is the market correct and the Fed has it wrong? So that will come to pass in terms of we'll see what happens in the coming weeks. Right? But certainly the uh, inflection of where the markets are at this stage uh, is quite interesting. So that's a very quick update on market action. And I will get back to uh, posting videos back to a regular uh, schedule in, in upcoming weeks. So we'll get back on track. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I will see you next time. Goodbye.